Hello and welcome to the Poly Innovator channel. This is a knowledge management and philosophy series centered around what I call the four pillars of philosophy, which are the mind, body, spirit, and emotions. Each one of these pillars affect your life. They're each major aspect of your life. And because they're so important, because they're so ingrained in what everything we do, I wanted to create a series around them. This philosophy I came up with is more of a modern approach to ancient philosophy. There is plenty of parallels to the Spartan races or uh, Aristotle's principles or even yoga. And so I don't want to say I created it all on its own, but it's a matter of how do you approach this in a more modern sense. That's what I created and how you implement this into the PIOS as well. This series isn't so much about the knowledge management aspect behind it, it's more about each pillar individually and how to understand them, how to build it up. Because when you build up one pillar, it builds up the rest. When one pillar goes down, the rest go down. It may not be as dramatic as what I just described there, but for the most part, it is one of those things where it can be quite detrimental when one of your pillars is starting to fade out and starting to not be worked on as much. But when you do focus on a pillar and try to improve it, such as like your body pillar, it does impact your mind and your emotions. Whether or not it affects your spirituality is <laughs> dependent on you. But let's get into some of these pillars here. The mind pillar is obviously your brain, your logic, your knowing, your learning, that kind of thing. Your body pillar is your health, your nutrition, and probably most uh, evident is your exercise. And then you have your spirituality pillar, which I think really doesn't necessarily have to be religion, but a lot of people's religions help their spirituality. So I think that's, you know, if it works for them, that works for them. It doesn't work for everybody. And so the way I like to see the spirituality pillar is it's the bridge between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. And that bridge, the stronger that bridge is, the more likely you could actually work with how you truly feel internally and how one could even theoretically say your soul is. And so depending on where you come from, you can apply that mindset in a lot of different ways. Then you have the emotions pillar, which generally kind of refers to your EQ, emotional quotient, and how do you, how well do you understand your own emotions as well as the emotions of others. Now, while each one of these videos may not be that long in its own, this is at least a dozen different videos I have planned out here based around each pillar and what you can do to improve it. The first half is a lot more simple and more beginner friendly. The second half is a little bit more 201, if you will. Like you have 101 in the beginning, 201 in the second half, because some people have already spent a lot of time on self-development. I made this series for everyone, which means even if you're just starting out or if you've done it for a while, you'll get something out of these videos, at least to a small degree. And then once you get towards the 201 level kind of exercises, then I think you're going to get a lot more out of it when it comes to progression. Personally, I've seen that most people have an anchor pillar. What I mean by that is throughout their life, they've had a pillar that they've kind of relied on, whether consciously or unconsciously, and that has been their lens for the other three pillars. And I say lens not as necessarily a good thing. It is good to make sure you acknowledge those other pillars. And if a lens is the only way you can do that, then that's fine. But eventually you need to start developing each pillar individually. They all work holistically, but they also need to be individual as well. For example, my anchor pillar is the body pillar, the physicality of things. I worked at a gym for a, over a decade. I still teach soul lessons. Physicality is part of my life. That's where I come from first and foremost, my body, and making sure I have enough supplements, make sure I have enough you know, exercise in my regimen, and make sure I'm like doing enough cardio and keeping my body going and walking every day, that kind of thing. This is where I you know, start my journey on mental health. I go for a walk. I go maybe even late at night just so I can clear my head. It's where I process my emotions when I go for a walk or go push out some exercise, push out some reps. My point is that is where my lens comes from. It's from the body pillar. But I've tried to actively change how I approach each other pillar too. Spirituality for me can be meditation, has nothing to do with physicality. And same with the body and the mind pillar too. Meditation can help with that. Let's move on here. What do you expect from this series? Well, this introductory video is about all the pillars. The next four videos about individual pillars. After that, we'll kind of come back together and talk about it holistically. And then once again, we're going to split off into each pillar into a more advanced way. So for example, I probably will talk about nootropics, which are mental supplements when it comes to the mind pillar later on. And then again, this system is really just a modernized version of what a lot of other systems have been created throughout humanity's existence. 
I just wanted to make a way for me to explain it to people because this is a very important part of the PIOS. When you organize your knowledge management, that's great. You can focus on your projects, your tasks, your goals, and whatever. But if they don't align with who you want to be and who you actually are now, then your projects and goals are just wasted. And so you spend all that time working on a project that doesn't even actually align with your ikigai or, you know, you're burning down your four, four pillars to accomplish this project. If you are not aligning yourself quarterly, basically, maybe even at least yearly, but quarterly, especially on your four pillars and your ikigai, then what you're actually doing for your projects and phases and tasks are just kind of a waste. And so you want to make sure you're actually keeping in mind who are you and these are your four major aspects of life. They are who you are. So each quarter you can align yourself, that kind of thing. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or you have curiosity that you want to be, you know, answered, leave a comment down below. I definitely am approaching this series in a lot more freeform aspect. I'll end the video here, but a little history. This series started out super early on the Poly Innovator timeline. So I came up with this idea of an omni-content series where I made a blog post, video, and podcast all in one. Eventually it's called Poly and Content if you want to look, look back on the history books, but either one. Essentially, it was the same thing. You made every episode all three pillar types. And I said pillar types here, but pillar types meaning rated audio and video. And it's interesting to think about how this series has been one of the few things that survived when I stopped doing that series. I was like, I want to still do this series. I'm going to make it more into a video. Then I'll make a blog post combining all the videos afterwards. But that is something that I've been wanting to talk about now for the past six years. And so it's super important. And so I just really wanted to drive that home. Thank you for being here. If you have any questions, like I said, leave a comment.